I guess this is as good a time as any to come on. Um, the Monday night, I was quite busy. It was quite steady and I had some really good connections. I couldn't believe it, you know. Sometimes I would have six trips in a row. Each time I'd clear, I'd get another call nearby and then clear and get another call nearby. And I'd have that happen like on six trips in a row and then I'd sit for like an hour and then I'd have another six trips in a row where I wouldn't stop. I did over 300 and that was without going to the airport or any really long trips. I was getting a lot of trips in the 15 to $20 range, but that was mostly it. Nothing really short maybe one or two really short ones tonight I had one that was pretty short it was one block long and uh, yeah so so Monday was just just fabulous it was a nice way to start the week and uh, which taxi vlog is it uh, 444 or something like that yeah and now it is the Tuesday night Actually, it's Wednesday morning because it's after midnight. But Tuesday night so far, okay, I, I made my uh, lease and I made my fuel and maybe I've got $30 on beyond that. And it's almost 1 o'clock in the morning, so that's uh, not so terrific. Hopefully something better will happen later on in the morning and make it so that I can make a decent profit. Um, I'm driving back to the part of town where I like to work uh, because I dropped somebody off uh, well far away from where I usually work which is good because I took him all the way there and it was like about a $16 fare and he gave me a $5 tip so I can't complain there there's nothing coming there's nothing anywhere, nothing coming that way. I think it's pretty safe to make a left turn. No traffic. Tuesday night, it's freaking dead out here. Really quiet. And I've been uh, geeking out, shall we say, on Star Trek. But not the original series from 1960s, and not the new series uh, like The Next Generation or Deep Space, anything like that. Uh, this is, well, I may have mentioned that I like Star Trek Continues, which is entirely done by fans of the old series, with uh, Vic Mignogna and uh, a few other people. But this one, this is Star Trek Phase 2 with completely different actors uh, and uh, it's quite interesting having different actors once again playing the uh, Spock and Kirk and McCoy and Scotty and uh, one of the uh, one of the people in this Phase 2 the girl who plays Uhura actually plays Uhura in Star Trek Continues also. So she's uh, she's big into the show. Don't know don't don't remember her name, but she's the girl who replaces Nichelle Nichols. She's the girl who plays uh, plays Uhura now. And uh, oh some good stories in there. Oh no I got a call already before I stop vlogging. Oh well I'll let you know how the night goes in the morning, uh, which is about five hours from now. As much as the Monday was busy, the Tuesday was slow. I just had a fair, but before that fair, I sat for two and a half hours waiting for something to happen. And before that, I guess I did okay. But nothing like the way I did yesterday. 
I got about 170 on now with an hour left to go I will get maybe one or two more fares and hopefully they will be long ones that's what I need I could use one to the airport right about now that would be most helpful other than that well I'll just keep geeking out on Star Trek. Well, uh, here we are again. We are at the airport, and this has been a curious, strange night. It started off with a call in, a, in another zone uh, about two minutes after I got into the car. And I went out to that zone, I went out to that call, it was at a supermarket. And I arrived there and I didn't see anyone stepping out to the car. So I called the guy and he said, oh, I already got a taxi when I told him who I was. And I said, well, congratulations, have a good night. Because, you know, I went pretty far empty to go pick this guy up and he wasn't there. Now, for quite a while there, it was slow. It was about one trip an hour, and the trips weren't all that spectacular. I got to the point where it was 11 o'clock, and just by luck, and, and it was luck that I actually had my lease on. It was almost 11, and I got sent. I was dropping a guy off, actually. And I got sent out to the airport to pick someone up. It was one of these company deals where the guy, the guy's company was paying to bring him into town to a hotel from the airport. And what was really nice is that I just got there and it took me a couple minutes to fill in the paperwork and he was coming right out of the terminal right towards me. Perfect. So I took him into town. Then, after taking that guy into town, I called it in to the office because with those account customers, they want to know how much it was. So I told him exactly how much it was. And so, after that, After that, I went to sit in my favorite place and watch some more of the new Star Trek. So here I am watching Star Trek. And like there's, you know, a couple series of new Star Trek. One of them is called Star Trek Phase 2. And another one is uh, The New Voyages. And yet another one, which I was already familiar with, is called uh, Star Trek Continues. I think I like Star Trek Continues. That wasn't... I couldn't... Ugh, potholes. What are they doing here? I never, never hit that one before. And you can't see them. Uh, maybe it just started. Maybe it just became... Maybe it just got there. I don't know. Anyways. So... Anyways, I am kind of marathoning these uh, these new Star Trek episodes, and I I believe I've almost watched them all. And uh, I fell asleep. I didn't have any business from around uh, two o'clock. Actually, for for quite some time, 
after 11 because this thing uh, threw me off, said there was no communications and I had to reset, so I reset and after that I was third in the zone. And then I got sent to a bar which had closed for staff. And I got there, phoned the number the first time, no answer. Five minutes later, I called the number again. I told her who I was, and she said, Oh, I'm sorry, I had to take another cab because my friend was getting sick. Oh, so you took her cab with her to get her home because she was getting sick. And you didn't cancel our trip. So I went over all the way over to that bar to pick up somebody who wasn't there, who could have said, look, cancel me. All right. I went back to my spot and sat again. So between two and, I guess, one and three o'clock, there was nothing. I fell asleep at one point. And then finally I got a call to Denny's to take this guy home for eight bucks. Then after Denny's I went back to the same parking lot to watch the same episode again because I fell asleep watching it the first time. I fell asleep watching it again. And sure enough, at four o'clock I was awakened again by this thing tell me that I had a call. So I was trying to watch the same episode of Star Trek twice and fell asleep both times watching it. Maybe the third time will be the charm. Anyways, the guy went out to the airport. It was a good, good fare. So I had one coming in from the airport earlier and one going out to the airport now in the morning. So with those two fares my night has been acceptable. Without those two fares, it would suck. I would have maybe $50 on for myself. Anyways, I'll talk to you sooner. Well, as far as Thursday nights go, it sort of dragged itself along and dragged itself along and dragged itself along and I had so many YouTube videos to watch that I could not watch them all and I'm not talking about my watch later list I'm talking about stuff that was posted in the last 24 hours I didn't have time to see it all because every time I would sit and, well, like a couple times I did fall asleep, yeah, and every time I'd take a break and start to watch something, very often I'd get another call. And it kept going like that till I had about, well, over $200 on. Yeah. Over $200 on, and just, uh, about 20 minutes ago it started to rain where I was and uh, it looks like there's some slush on the ground at least where I am here so it looks like there was a bit of snow around here but not where I was at the time I was sitting there waiting for a customer well I got sent to pick up a customer it was one of my favorite customers too and I got there and I phoned her number and didn't get a response. And I sat there for another five minutes and then that, that's, that's sort of my policy, you know. If I, if I don't reach you the first time, I'll call you again after five minutes. And if you don't answer, then I call a no load. So I called a no load, but I stayed there because I was watching a video on my phone and I got Wi-Fi there. I was watching a video on my phone while waiting for her to show up. And and uh, 
I was watching a video, watching a video, and I sat there for about 20 minutes. And then this cab pulled up behind me, and she got out. And I saw her walking up, and I rolled down my window, and she said, well, what are you doing here? And I said, well, I was sent here. And I called you, you didn't answer. I called you again, you didn't answer. And I'm still here because I was watching something on my phone, which I was getting Wi-Fi here. And she started crying. She said, but there was a cab here. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. But the cab that she showed up in was from another taxi fleet. It wasn't ours. It wasn't the one she called. Because I know she calls us. I've taken her enough times to know she calls us. And yes, she did call us, otherwise I wouldn't have got the call. But there was this other cab just passing by, I guess, and she stepped out the door, saw a cab, waved at it, got in. Uh, so now it's doing a kind of rainy, kind of ooky thing here. And I managed to last all night, and it was dry all night, and it just started doing this, this rainy kind of thing. So, it's quarter to six. Since it's doing this, I'm not going to wash the car. I'm just going to fuel it up and park it. And hopefully... The next time I get sent for that customer, she'll be there. Oh, and just as I was about to pull away, her key didn't work the door. Her key didn't open the door. And she, she said, somebody's played with the lock. And I said, well, there, is there anything that I can do to help? And she says, not at this point. And she started crying some more. Then this thing here, the MDT, went beep. So I had another call to go get. And I got this other customer. And now it's the end, unless I get sent on another one now. I really don't feel like working anymore. I just feel like going home. Having a bite to eat and a few drinks. Now it's Friday morning, one more night to go. It's Saturday morning. It's five minutes after six. And there goes a skateboarder dressed in black. Right into the street, there he goes. See him? Of course you don't. Um, it was busy. The students uh, at the university are having, or just had, a bunch of midterm exams, and those midterm exams caused them to decide to blow off steam, and so there were house parties with university kids, um, and we were busy, busy until 2:30. And then after 2.30, the pace let up a little bit, but I was getting good fares, better fares, $20, $30, $40 fares. And the last one was really wonderful. Uh, I ended up going out to Langford, and in Langford, I got another call to bring somebody back into town. So it was like a $35 fare out there. And it was another $40 fare back in. So $75 in the last hour. I had a $500 night. That was a good way to end the week. It's just what I needed. It makes a big difference. And connecting only once did something go wrong where I was uh, being sent somewhere 
and somebody else got sent there too and we were both from the same fleet and it turns out that the girl called the other cab and the guy who was with her called for me and we were both from the same company so they both called us and so two cabs were sent for the same person or for the same two people uh, unbeknownst to each of them the other one called if that makes any sense so uh, aside from that you know there were a lot of loud college kids and uh, a lot of it was busy and, but towards the end it got better I had one that went out uh, out almost to the airport at one point making it so that I had $250 on by midnight and now at the end six hours later I have another $250 on, so $500 night. Thank you very much. I deserve my break now. I'm going to just roll into the car wash, wash this thing, and go home and sip some whiskey. Hope yours could be better than mine. And that's it. Walk right out. Just walk right out. Don't pay no attention to no cars anywhere. No. That's the way they do things here. Pedestrians, they just mosey on out. Get in the way. Oblivious to everything that's going on around them. La La Land. California, Canada.